this is Happy Happy Joy Joy with my third video, um, Learning to Use the Cricut. Today we're going to be making this title bar using the Plantin School Book end cap feature, so you'll learn how to do that. And then you will also learn how to insert a different font within this title bar. So as you can see, this is Plantin School Book, and then this font is actually from Storybook. So let's get started. Okay, let's get started. I've moved my blade over to 8 inches and hit the fit to length button. Next thing I did is set my dial to 8 inches because that's how long I want my title bar to be. I don't want it to take up the whole space on the scrapbook page. Finally, I'm going to enter the buttons to make a blackout version or shadow version of um, the title bar. To do that, I press end cap shadow heart, then I press K-E-L-L-Y for Kelly, that's my daughter's name, and then shift heart again. Now what can be confusing with the end cap feature is now all of a sudden it says heart, Kelly, and then it says square, but it shows a picture of a heart. Don't worry, it will cut the heart. We go ahead and we press cut. This is what cut out a shadow version of my um, title bar. This is what I'm going to be cutting the word Kelly into. So I need to repeat the steps again for black because that's going to be my background. So I'm just going to hit repeat last, isn't that convenient, and then cut again. Okay, this is what we just cut out. Now comes some tricky parts. First step, we need to switch cartridges over to Storybook. So turn off your machine insert your storybook cartridge and turn it back on. I have gone ahead and done that. The next thing we're going to do is turn off our fit to length button and turn on our center point button. And I will explain why in a moment. Now this is my mat. And I'm trying to make sure you can see it. What you need to see is I put it in the bottom left hand corner. And what I've done is try to line it up so that right in between between here and here is where I want my name to cut. Now, I took note previously, and this will be in the written instructions, that the size of letters that this would cut out when we did fit to length was one and a half. So when I was doing a little trial and error, I found out what size letters would fit on this is one inch. So you can see I centered the paper. Now what I'm, I, I centered just my little block. So I started here, and I'm going, I'm going to go up here and what I'm going to do is bring my blade down to just about in here. And I have figured out that number for those numbers for you. So let me get my paper in and load it. Okay, my paper is now loaded and I did that by going over 10 and 5 eighths and down 9 and thir 13 sixteenths, if you can believe it. So now I'm going to enter my letters and cut my title bar out. I am also going to make sure I change my dial down to one inch because it was at eight inches. Before we start cutting, we always want to check all our dials and make sure our blade depth is where we want it, our speed and pressure is where we want it. And in this case, our blade is at five, our pressure is at max, and our speed is at high. And so I turn my dial to one and I'm all set to cut. Okay, so here we go. Now we have our black background we pat just cut out earlier, and now we used our pink background, which we just cut out, and that was done. You can either stack them right on top of each other and then decorate these hearts. Leave them plain as you like. You can also offset them a little bit, so you kind of had a little stacked version. The only downside to this technique is that you're not able to actually make a shadow because you were already using the shadow function to leave a blank space here, so you could fill it in with a different font. But those are some ideas. I have a finished one here. I did not offset it, um, but I went ahead and put some hearts. This this smaller heart is cut at two and a quarter, and the larger heart behind is cut at two and a half. So there is your finished title bar, and today we learned to use the fit to length button as well as the center point button. Thanks for tuning in, and head out to my blog at www.obsessedwithscrapbooking.com for the instructions. Have a great day.